I want to talk about expectations and what determines patient results. The number one determining factor in your result is your surgeon and the quality of their technique and skill. The second most important criteria is really patient factors, and that really falls into a few different categories that I'm going to group together, which really include the quality of the skin, the inherent thickness and elasticity of the skin, as well as the patient's BMI and age. And really age goes with skin quality. Plus, I want to make a special note that patients who've had massive weight loss surgery tend to have stretched out skin and their skin is going to be a much poorer quality of skin than a non-massive weight loss patient and their result is not going to be the same as that of a non-massive weight loss patient. When it comes to these types of surgeries, the only thing I can promise my patients is that they will get the best result their body is capable of. So that includes as much liposuction and skin removal as I can do in one surgery with technically placing the scars. If your skin is poor skin quality, you are gonna show less contouring and less definition. There is gonna be less good liposuctioning quality of fat available for harvesting and for fat injection, and your skin will never remain as tight after your surgery. We can make your skin as tight as can be to the point where you can't even lay flat, and within a year, your skin will feel loose. In addition, most massive weight loss patients really need more than one surgery for skin removal, so to think that you're gonna get the result that you might desire in just one procedure may not be a rational thought process. Make sure that when you show me results that you like, that, you are not, that you're not showing me patients who are laying down. When patients lay down or they sit up, the quality of the result is not going to be the same as laying down where the skin is being stretched out. Massive weight loss patients in particular have to realize that their skin is no longer attached to their body. You can literally take your skin and slide it up and down your body and it's no longer attached to the, to, the, to the abdominal wall or your chest wall like a non-massive weight loss patient. Therefore, the results will reflect that. Your, your skin will not be as tight, things will be mobile, skin from your back may show up on your abdomen creating folds and creases and things like that so that you have to keep those things in mind. If your skin is not tight, any skin irregularities are gonna show much more than if your skin is tight as well. So remember again, the quality of result is related to the quality of your skin. So that has to do with age and massive weight loss and BMI and things like that. The more deflated your skin is, the, the lower your BMI, the more loose your skin may be. Whereas a higher BMI patient, that skin may be stretched out by the, by the fat itself. So what's really the sweet spot for, for BMI for skin removal patients? Probably in the high 20s, not in the 30s, not in the low 20s because we get different sets of problems there. Keep those factors in mind, make sure you're choosing the right surgeon, and be patient. It's going to take at least a few months, especially if you're a massive weight loss patient, it's going to take a few months to get the swelling out because your skin will stretch more.